Aim has got to be the most important thing in the game, and on keyboard and mouse, I don't know if it's just me, but it's the hardest skill to keep consistent. So I have to practice it literally every single day. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be giving you my whole aim guide. This isn't just going to be my aim routine, it's also gonna be tips to transfer skills into actual games things that may be messed up in your setup that are holding your aim back, and more. So before we hop into it, please consider using code JIVINTV in the Fortnite item shop, or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us out a ton. Without further ado, let's get into this video. To start out, I'm going to talk about little random things that might be holding your aim back. To start out, one of the most important things to having good keyboard and mouse aim is having a good mouse pad. Currently, I'm using the Glorious Triple XL mouse pad, but I am going to be switching soon. I think I might get a mouse company mouse pad. But yeah, mouse pad is so important, and you need to make sure your mouse pad is clean. If you're playing on a dirty mouse pad or a not high quality one, it's going to make your aim a little bit messed up because the fibers will be messing with your mouse. And then that leads us into the second thing that's so important is having a good mouse. I'm currently using the Ultralight Final Mouse, which I would not recommend simply because you can't get it at a good price. Pretty sure it sold for $80 at first, but now you can only get it for like 300 plus. The most vouched mouse in the community right now, I'd say, is the G Pro Super Light, which I'm going to be getting very shortly. Now, this next thing is actually so important. You need to check every now and then to make sure the glides on the bottom of your mouse are not worn. So all of season eight, I was like, dude, what's wrong with my aim? I literally aim train every single day, but my aim was going down the pooper. And one day I checked the bottom of my mouse and the glides were worn so much that my mouse was basically scraping my mouse pad. So I just simply replaced them and all of a sudden my aim is back on track. I'm using hyper glides. I bought them on Amazon. What I would recommend is just search your mouse in Google and search best glides and look at Reddit forums, see what people vouch. Next big thing is mouse pad space. The more space you have on your desk and your mouse pad, the better. I recently just upgraded my desk and it's way bigger than before. And one day later, I'm already noticing improvements in my aim. But if you don't have much mouse pad space, that's okay. You just gotta make sure that your sensitivity fits your mouse pad space. Make sure that when you move your mouse from one side of your mouse pad space to the other, you can spin in at least one circle. I like to keep my sensitivity to the point where I can spin about one and a half times. It's just a rough estimate. Now, speaking of sensitivity, if you're on controller, then sensitivity is one of the most important things in the game. If your aim is just terrible on controller, you probably need to switch your sensitivity up. I asked Rody Bros, and I'll tell you, Rody has some of the best aim I've ever seen, and he said, yeah, sensitivity is key on controller. Obviously, you wanna practice your aim in these courses I'm about to talk about, but if your aim is just tremendously bad, switch up your sense. What I recommend is pick a pro controller player that you look up to, copy his sensitivity, and do micro adjustments from there. Just switch it up until it feels right. And now the last thing I want to talk about before we get into my routine is make sure you train your aim daily. Don't slip up on it because aim is so crucial. I train my aim about 30 minutes to an hour every single day. I'm a little overboard with it, but at the same time, aim is the most important thing to practice, so stay consistent with it. So now that we covered all that, let's get into my actual routine. I started using Kovacs recently and I built a playlist as you can see here, but it's not letting me publicize my routine. Maybe I'll be able to upload it soon and if that's the case, I'll throw it in the description. But for now, if you wanna go with my routine, just copy it down. My playlist is pretty similar to the Fortnite playlist, but I threw in a few extra things that I find really useful. So I start out with this course simply because it warms up my eyes, it warms up my aim, and just kind of wakes me up. I used to use that popular course called Tile Frenzy, but this is much more fitting for Fortnite. Each day when you hop in this course, just try to speed yourself up a little bit each time. I try to focus on my accuracy more than anything, but I'm trying to get faster and more precise accuracy every day. That's pretty much with all these courses, I'm just working on staying precise with my aim and speeding it up daily. After that course, I hop into this one where the targets are strafing. The last one rewards uh, how many targets you can hit, but this one rewards on accuracy and how many targets you can hit. So I try to be as precise as possible. And then I hop into this course. These first few courses are mainly for getting your shotgun name down and your flick shots. I start out with the easiest one and work up to the harder ones. This next one's really good for practicing headshot aim. I've been 
when working on getting my headshots down on people out of the sky, I always aim for the body, but this course is helping me aim for the head. After all those courses, I get into the tracking courses. I find this one to be the easiest one. It mimics tracking from high ground, which is something I really need to work on. If you ever get high ground in Fortnite, it feels just like this. So I've been running that map like crazy. Currently I'm ranked 15th, so oh yeah. Then I move on to this one, which is another pretty easy tracking course. The main thing I focus on is trying to keep my hands steady in these courses. One of the hardest things with keyboard and mouse is that the aim gets a little bit shaky, at least for me. My ADS is really low, so I track with my arm. So I'm just trying to keep my arm steady and smooth while tracking these targets. Next one, we get to a more unpredictable movement course where the target is kind of moving back and forth. I find this course to be the most realistic to tracking people out of the sky. Obviously, the target's a little bigger than the people in game, but this is the most similar feel. And the next course is the same deal, tracking people out of the sky. I focus on the crosshair and keeping it lined up with the target. I've noticed my out of sky tracking getting way better since I started running these courses. This next one again, I'm just working on keeping my arm as steady as possible while tracking the targets out of the sky. It's one of the hardest things to do getting a really steady arm while tracking, but the more you practice in these courses, the steadier your arm will become. This last one is the hardest out of all of them. I threw this in here and I work in this course more than anything. In this course, I try to keep my crosshair lined up with the head of the target. And as you can see, I miss most of my shots, but this is the most intense tracking course that I found. And that's the end of my Kovacs routine. It takes about 20 minutes. I've been running that on the daily. Again, it's very similar to the Fortnite playlist, but I added a few extra in there that I find really useful. Now you might not have Kovacs and that's okay. There's some really good in-game aim trainers that I use on the daily as well. First one you can practice in is aim duels. This aim trainer has out of sky tracking, box fights, lots of 50-50 practice, SMG tracking, and you're going up against another player. So it's very similar to real game fights, which is why I like running this course pretty frequently. Lots of things you can improve in that map. The next map that I recommend if you don't have Kovacs is Skavox Aim Trainer. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's basically Kovacs, but in Fortnite. There's tracking courses, peak shot courses, shotgun flick courses, everything you need to practice your aim just like you would in Kovacs. I find Kovacs to be a little bit better, obviously, because it's a program literally built for training your aim and mouse control. But if you don't have a PC, you know, you're on console, this is probably the next best thing. It'll definitely help out your aim a ton. And then the last course, which I run every single day, is the Panville 200 pump headshot only map. You can only kill people if you hit a perfect 200 pump, so it trains you to aim for the head. You can also work on your movement, your bobbing and weaving, your peak shots, your peace control, everything in this map. So this is my go-to warm up after Kovacs. Last part of this video, I just wanna talk about a few mentality tips I have for you to transfer your aim over to arena and cash cups, everything. It can be hard because in an aim trainer, there's no pressure and there's never gonna be that panic that you feel in game. So the biggest tips I have for you is one, keep up your aim training practice, obviously. The more you practice, the more comfortable you get with the mouse or the controller, and that skill will transfer over. But little tips that I have to speed that process up is one, put more attention to your aim during fights. This may sound like an obvious thing, but if you have that opportunity to shoot the enemy, sometimes just thinking a little bit more about your aim in those situations can help you hit more shots. It's like in basketball, you're about to shoot a three-pointer. If you put more attention on your shot and less attention towards the enemy that's running at you about to block your shot, you'll be much more cool and calm and hit more three-pointers. Same applies in game. Really focus on that shot and try to stay calm. Breathe in those 50-50 situations and you'll eventually get used to it. Another thing that can help out your aim a lot is just applying more attention to tracking the enemies during fights. If you always have your eye on the enemy in a fight and you're tracking them very carefully, you'll definitely hit more shots. I made a video about a minimized building playstyle where you put more attention towards tracking the opponent. And practicing that playstyle can help you improve your aim 100%. And then the last mentality trick is try to get in the same mentality you use when you're aim training, when you're actually aiming in game. It may sound stupid, but sometimes when you're about to take that shot, if you just breathe and get in the zone that you're in when you're aim training, it can help you hit more shots in game. Picturing that enemy as just another target in Kovacs. 
or getting in that same vibe that you're in when you're in the 200 pump map. It can help you hit more shots. That may just be a me thing. It helped me out, but it might help some of you out too. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Keep up your grind with your aim. You will see improvements and try to add some variety to your practice just to keep it more fun. Don't forget to hit that like button, sub if you're new. Use code JAVINTV and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.